Okay guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capilian Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, today as I promised in my previous tutorial about PLC, I'm going to create my first uh, PLC program. Okay, now actually this uh, CX, uh, CX programmer, I will be writing a ladder diagram, programming style. Okay, now what we can do, we can... Uh, file the new now actually when you are creating a program of course they will they, it will get it will ask for a device name or what will be the plc okay we will just use the uh, we will just use the what is being offered here new plc or i will say let's say let's try to change it to my to our uh, Omron, okay? So, I'm using an Omron PLC. Now, the device type, mine is CP1L, okay? Then, the network, okay? Then, uh, Ethernet, okay? Then, I will just say, okay? Okay? So, anyway, what is important here is how you are going to start your uh, program writing, okay? So, as you can see here now, uh, Omron, you found my project. Okay, actually, uh, you can also rename this one. You can rename this one as test. Okay, this is our test project. Then, uh, okay, then actually, when you are writing the program, of course, uh, you should be in the offline state, meaning you are not online with the uh, PLC. Okay. Then here, this is the new program. Again, I think you can also rename this one. Okay, so rename, give an appropriate name. Let's say this is for turning on lamp on. Okay, lamp on. Okay, we will see if it will be. Okay, then uh, no problem. Uh, in naming a program, they will not allow uh, space. Okay, so automatically the IDE offers a solution. So instead of space, automatically uh, he changed it to underscore. Okay, now here, so meaning our program, there will be symbols, section, and end. Okay, so Okay, so this will be our program name is lamp on. Okay, then section. This will be our section. Now, uh, we are ready now to insert symbols. Okay, so actually this will be our, uh, this one is like our bus here. And this one also is like our bus. Okay, it's like uh, if you are uh, drawing a ladder diagram, there will be zero volts line and 24 volts line. If you are using 24 volts, okay. Or if you are using line in neutral, so you have a neutral bus and a line bus, okay? So uh, since I'm using a 24 volts DC, so I can say this is my 24 volts DC and this is my zero volts DC. So this is my 24 volts DC and this is my zero volts DC, something like that, okay? Now we are ready to insert the symbol, okay? So from my bus, okay? From here, I will say, I will, I, okay, I will put this one, okay. Now, I just, I just try to connect something in my bus here, okay. Then I will, okay, now, okay. Actually, you can delete that one. You don't want it. Now, we will try to, uh, new contact, okay. So, I will insert a new contact here. Okay, now new contact uh, or just like a new symbol. Now you have to give an identifier. If you remember, if you are a BMS engineer, I mean, if you are doing some programming in BMS, there are also, uh, you need also to specify identifier, okay? So this one, what will be my identifier for this one? Since my program is how to turn on alarm. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, okay, guys. Okay, guys, let me continue. Okay, now uh, for the new symbol or new contact, we will try to use P, okay, wait a minute. So P, B, okay, because uh, there are some existing symbols. Now I will try to create a new one. 
PB. Okay, let's say this is push, boot, uh, push button zero one. Okay, so meaning uh, uh, push button zero one. Then you can say okay. So what is important here, guys, is the address. Okay, now actually the address is the labeling in the input channel of the uh, home run PLC. Okay, later I will create a, uh, another tutorial describing the hardware part. Now these are all the software part, okay? So for the input channel, it will start with zero channel or zero, okay? So meaning we have to say zero from zero channel then what is the first input point there? Zero, zero. So there is uh, the, the input channel starts with zero, zero up to uh, I think zero, 11. Uh, 11. So zero, zero to 11. Okay, so I will use the first input channel here. Okay, so that is zero, zero. Okay, now comment. You can put a comment here. Okay. So what is this uh, no, normally open? Okay, so I will say this one is a normally open contact. Oh, okay, so I can say NO. So that is be my... Now, uh, just click OK. Then do you wish to register the symbol to the local symbol table? Okay, if no, is selected, the symbol will be registered to the global. So I just want it to be registered in the local symbol. Okay, so I will say yes. Okay, so that will be my first uh, open contact for my uh, simple uh, ladder program. Okay, so I will just extend this line. Okay, I will just extend this line. Then at the last part, I will try to connect it at the last part, okay. So, okay, let's see. Uh, I will delete this one. I will connect it here. So, I will put a coil, okay, a coil. Now, a coil can be, uh, let's say, it can be a lamp, okay. So, I will say here lamp. Uh, L, I will just use a symbol L, okay, L01, okay. I have a push button 01 here. Then I have a lamp zero one here, okay. Then uh, L zero one is not about okay. L not a symbol name, okay, okay. No wait, uh, okay. Let's uh, let's try to edit that one because there is a problem. L zero one, okay, okay. Then okay, I will change this. Okay, so let me escape. Okay, I will try to delete it again so that no, no. this one select, then delete. Where should it be? Delete. Then I will try again to put because there is an error there. I don't want an, er an error. So L dash zero one. Okay, new coil L zero one. Okay, now it is accepted. The data type is boolean okay boolean uh, it could be true or false okay then the address or value now in the output the output uh, channel starts also with zero zero okay so the channel uh, label is 100 so i will say 100 that's zero zero okay so comment so it's just like I'm referring to the output channel 100 that I'm saying this is uh, output channel one, okay? So I will say a comment here, just lump. I will say 220 lump, okay? Uh, yeah, anyway, we'll just say lump. Okay, then again, click yes, so that it will be added in the... Uh, Local symbol, uh, no, table, okay. Now, actually, guys, the pro now this is our program. This is just a very simple program. So what will happen, let's try first to, uh, okay, let's try first to see what are the symbols, okay. So PB01, 0, that's 00, zero, zero, meaning 
zero is my input channel. Then that zero zero meaning I'm using the first input channel zero zero. Then that is an auxiliary relay area. Okay, it's uh, that is automatically uh, put there. Okay. Then okay. So normally open. Then this one. How about this one? Okay, escape. So how about this one? That is a L01. That is my lamp 01. Now the address is I'm using the output channel, which starts with 100. That 00, zero meaning I'm using the first output channel. And what is that load? Lamp. Okay. So as you can see here, guys, escape. As you can see, this is a very simple uh, program. Meaning, if this contact, if this is my, uh, if I'm using uh, 24 volts, okay? If I'm using 24 volts, okay? Actually, uh, I will give you the physical uh, device that this program is intended to, okay? So first, if this one closes, then of course there will be the circuit is complete. So let's say this is uh, zero volts and this is, I mean, this is 24 volts, this is zero volts. So if 24 volts speed and this load has a connection to the zero volts, of course the circuit is complete, then this lamp will be lit, okay? So that is the simple program here, okay? Now, uh, I want to create a very simple one so that for a really a beginner, he will be able to understand. Okay. Now here, uh, you you are offline. Okay. So you are offline. Okay. So how are you going to send it to the PLC? Because you need to transfer your ladder program to the PLC itself so that the PLC, when it is in run mode, then if you will try to close this contact or if you have a push button switch, then you try to uh, push that push button switch, then it will light the lamp. Okay, so this is a very simple program. Okay, so uh, let me save this one. Okay, let me save this one. Okay, so I will just save it. Test lamp. Test. Okay, let's use capital here. Test. Now, make sure if you are saving, you know where it is being saved so that you know where to look for it, okay? Now, it is being saved in my document. Then save. Okay, now what I will do, I will try to open, okay, or uh, let me first, wait a minute. Uh, I will share a new one, new share. Uh -huh. Share, okay. So wait a minute, that is my YouTube channel, okay. Then I will close this. So I just saved the program, then I will try to close the program again, then I will Okay, guys, so you have seen already how to make or create a very simple uh, program in your PRC, ladder diagram program. Okay, so now I will open uh, the one I have created. Okay, so I have a lamp on here so that we will see. Okay. So it's opening my program. Okay. Now, this is my program, very similar to the one I created. So one push button, then one lamp here, okay? So what I'm going to do now is try to uh, run or simulate the program, okay? So first, uh, I'm now offline. So I need to be online with my PLC. 
So you go here, PLC, then work online. Okay. Then make sure the IP address is correct here. Okay. If you are uh, following my tutorial from part one or from the very start of the PLC series, then you will be able to see what I'm trying to say here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just make sure the PLC uh, the IP address is correct. Then, okay. Now, as you can see here now, okay. So just, let me just make sure you are seeing my screen, okay. Now, as you can see here, my PLC, now I'm, my PLC is in the run mode, okay. Then, as you can see here, meaning, so the this line is open because I have a normally open contact here, okay. Now we can say this is 24 volts, this is zero volts, okay? If we are having a uh, 24 volts load, okay? Now, uh, actually you will, you can, uh, let's say you finish your PLC program, you can right click here, then there's a transfer here, transfer to PLC. Now, if you are already online, let's say uh, if you are already online, then you want to transfer your di uh, no, uh, ladder diagram program to PLC. You, all, you need to click this one, okay? Transfer to PLC. Then there will be a dialog box open here. Then uh, that will say PLC, new PLC, blah, 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 blah. Okay, transfer files of all tasks. You will just say, okay, okay. Then this command will affect the state of the connected PLC. Actually, actually, if you are working on a PLC, make sure no one is working on that PLC. Okay. Then make sure that PLC can be uh, tested. Okay. Because maybe the PLC is already running and it's already trying to control something and you try to interrupt it. So that's why this one is asking like this. So this command will affect the state of the connected PLC. Do you wish to continue? If it will, if something will happen, if you are not sure, but for the sake of just testing, just like what I'm doing here. So my PLC, this PLC is tended for testing. So I will say yes. Okay, make sure that there aren't any problem if PLC is stopped. So just, just like what I'm telling you, uh, because maybe you are working on an online PLC, which is already loaded or uploaded with some uh, program that is trying to control a certain equipment. So that the programmer is just making sure that there will be no problem. Okay, you will just say yes. If you are sure that there's nothing will happen there. That this is the transferring of your program to the PLC. Then download, successful, okay. Make sure there is not, okay, again, it's repeating. Okay, now, as you can see down here below, you can see the new PLC, zero error, zero warnings. Okay, then blah, blah, blah. So these are the uh, memory usage, I think. Memory usage, okay, then symbol, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then this is my program. Now I can uh, set, you can force, okay. Now, actually in BMS, we are, we are also having this capability of forcing the point. So here also you can force it, okay? So you see there's so there is so no big difference from PLC to DDC, okay? I will try to say on, must be in monitor mode, okay? Okay, change now, yes. Okay, again, it will just make sure, okay? As you can see here at the background, okay, as you can see, the line now is, uh, I mean, if this is 24 volts, then it flow directly from our lamp. Then we have connection in the uh, bus, zero bus. Then of course this lamp will turn on, okay? So meaning you can force it. Okay. So it's just like if you want to check. Actually the physical or the hardware is already wired to my PLC, but that will be the next part, okay? Now, uh, you can change also here from operating mode. Okay, so run. I will change it to run. Yes. Okay, again, you are in a run mode. So you, have, you will be having several modes. So uh, operating mode, we have program 
monitor and run, okay? So in monitor, let's say if you want to force, but here also, I think I can also set on, must be in monitor mode. If you want to force or set the value, you should be in a monitor mode, okay? So cancel, okay? Anyway, uh, so this is how you're going to write your very first then and very simple program. Just two symbols, one push button or normally open contact and a lamp or a coil. So actually we're using here a coil, okay? Then of course, when this push button contact, I mean this normally open contact closes, then it will close the circuit. Then it will try to lift the lamp, okay? So this is how you are going to write a simple ladder program, then how you are going to upload it or download it in your PLC. Just make sure you have the connection in your PLC. Okay, guys? So the next part, I will show you the physical device or the physical connection of the push button switch, then the lamp or an indication lamp. Then I'm using also a sim uh, one relay. Then I will show you how are you going to wire it. Okay? So again, thank you for joining me in this simple ladder programming. I hope I have given you a clear picture or a clear idea how are you going to write your very first uh, simple ladder program. Thank you for joining me. Again, this is your host, Santos Capilian Jr. Always wishing you a good day. And if you're new to my channel, please help me uh, in promoting it by subscribing. You can also click the notification bell. And of course, you can also like, share, and comment. Okay, I'm uh, stressing that I'm very new to PLC, okay? I'm doing this one so that we can compare how a PLC and a DDC works, okay? So bear with me, guys. And of course, I'm not a native English speaker. So I'm just trying to speak in English so that I can reach more audience or international, okay? Thank you for watching. And before I will end, God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.